Hello everyone. Welcome to second PU practical session. In this session, you are going to study pollen germination. So, what is meant by pollen grain? It is a microscopic oval or spherical shape of structure that develops inside the microsporangia. So, what is microsporangia? It is nothing but it is the chambers or the sac like structure that is present inside the anthers. So, when we take the transverse section of the dithecus anther, we can see there is a presence of four chambers. So, each chamber is said to be microsporangium. Inside the microsporangium, there is a presence of uniformly distributed cells. These are said to be sporogenous tissue and each sporogenous cell now act as a pollen mother cell so that it undergoes meiotic division and mitotic division that results in the formation of a structures that is said to be pollen grain. So, pollen grain it is a microscopic unit or the structures develops inside the anthers. Pollen grain is surrounded by membrane which is differentiated into two layers. This is the outer one and this is the inner one. Outer one is very strong, non-elastic in nature, rigid in nature and it is highly resistant to some of the acids and this is said to be exine. And the inner layer is very smooth, elastic in nature and this is made up of only cellulose and this is said to be intact. So inside the pollen grain, there is a presence of two cells. This upper one is said to be vegetative cell and the lower one is said to be generative cell. Now here there is an absence of some places, there is an absence of this X sign and this part is said to be germ pore. Now when the pollen grain falls on the stigmatic surface what happens imagine this is the style and this is the stigma. Here when this pollen grain falls on the stigmatic surface like this it absorbs water sugar substances that is present in the stigmatic region. As a result of this what happens this germ pore region or the intine region now grows out as a tube like structure like this and this is said to be pollen tube. So what is meant by pollen tube? When the pollen grain falls on the stigmatic surface of the gynoecium, it absorbs water sugar substance that is present in the stigmatic region and then the intine now grows out as a tube like structure. So this is the natural germination. Now in this session you are going to study the artificial germination, artificial germination of pollen grain and then you have to calculate the percentage of pollen germination. Take a glass slide. And then you have to take one or two drops of sucrose solution because we are doing artificial germination. For this we added a pinch of boric acid so that it stimulates the growth of the pollen tube. Then this is vinca rosea flower. You have to open like this. So these yellow structures are nothing but anthers. You have to dust the pollen grains here. So for this, this is the needle. Just dip it like this, make it wet and then touch towards this yellow part structure and dust it. And then 
cover this with the cover glass. And then keep it aside for 20 to 30 minutes and after 30 minutes what you have to do is you have to focus it and show it to the examiner. So how to focus this? Now look here. So after the preparation this is the compound microscope. There are two adjustments low power objective high power objective. For this low power objective is sufficient. Now you have to turn like this. You have to turn the mirror towards the light like this. And then you have to keep the slide and slowly by looking at this part. This is said to be ocular or eyepiece very close to our eye. And then you have to focus it like this. Between from here to here, between 1, 1 to 1 1.5 centimeter length, it will get focused here. This is the very important 5 marks experiment. I repeat, what you have to do is take a glass slide. And then add one or two drops of sugar or a sucrose solution. And then take vinca rosea flower, open in the center with the help of needle. You have to dust the pollen grains on the liquid or sugar solution and then cover with the cover glass. Don't wipe it and you have to keep it for 10 to 15 or 20 minutes and you have to use only this one. This is the low power objective. Then you have to adjust the mirror towards the light and then keep the slide. And by looking at this place, this is the ocular or eyepiece, you have to move only this one course adjustment at particular region, it will get focused. So this is about the preparation part. Now, Coming to the next is in one focus like this, you can see number of pollen grains. Number of pollen grains. If the pollen grains are germinated, you can see like this tube like structures. This is the pollen germination. You can see in this picture, this is the germinated pollen grain. Another important point is you have to calculate the percentage of pollen germination by using a very simple formula that is small n divided by capital N into 100. That means small n that is nothing but germinated pollen grains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 is a germinated pollen grains and then divided by capital N total number of pollen grains. You have to count all the pollen grains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. So here is 15 and here is 6 into 100 that becomes the percentage of pollen germination. So this is about the very important experiment germination of pollen grain. What you have to do is take a glass slide, add one or two drops of sucrose solution and you have to take the pollen grains, vinca rosea pollen grains, dusted on the solution or sucrose solution, cover this with a cover glass kept aside for 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, you have to focus it and show it to the examiner. In one focus, you have to calculate the percentage of pollen germination by using the formula small n divided by capital N into 100. The small n that is nothing but germinated pollen grain capital N 
it is nothing but total number of pollen grain. In the examination, you have to do the preparation and no need to write any diagram. Important point is you have to calculate the percentage of pollen germination by using this simple formula. I hope you understood this session or the exercise or the practical. Thank you.